So I want to build it on this idea of how I can graph a circle to get it some other shapes. So we've talked about how in this graph, the center of this is at negative two, positive three, and it has a radius of three. And we could rewrite it this way or this way, where we're dividing by nine, or we're still dividing by nine, but we just write the squared on the outside. So what I'm curious about is, um, notice like I divided by the nine, so in the x direction from the center, I'm offset by three. And I divide by nine, or by three in this form, it's really by three squared. Um, I'm offset by three in the y direction. So instead of offset by nine, what if I change this to a 16? Uh, here is what is really interesting to me. Notice what I get. Um, I'm still offset by the square root of that in the y direction. I'm still offset by three in the y direction, but now I'm offset by four, one, two, three, four in the x direction. I've kind of like stretched it out in a way. Um, let me bring this up so I can write on it. So I still have my center here. And then notice this distance is three because of that. And this distance is four because of that. So down here, if I wanted to write in this form, instead of a three, I would have a, I would have a four down there. Turn that circle off. And you can, you can see that both those forms, both those forms work. Uh, so let's do, let's do another one like this then. Um, I'm going to change, change everything. So I'm going to make this a X minus one, make this a Y, make this a Y plus three. I'll make this a 25 and I'll make this a four. So can you picture what this is going to look like? It looks like I'm going to have a center at one negative three. I'm going to be offset by five in the X direction and offset by two in the Y direction. All right, so there's my center, one, one, two, three, one, negative three. And then in the X direction, one, two, three, four, five, I'm offset by five in the Y direction. I'm offset by two because this is a two squared and this is a five squared. So if I wanted to write that in this form, I know my center is at one, five, it's equal to one. My offset in the X direction is five. My offset in the Y direction is two. So notice I have these two different forms I can write it in. One where uh, I just divide by a squared, or one where it's a, but the whole thing's squared. Let's, let's do a little bit, bit of generalizing here. So that means um, I could write an equation something like x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. I'll say this is over a, I'll say this is over b equals 1. But I'll say a squared and b squared. And I'll say that that is equal to uh, one. So notice this would be an ellipse, like that squish circle. And my center is at hk. What makes that a zero? What makes that a zero? And then my offset in the x direction isn't is is a a itself. It's not a squared. So this distance would be a off the center. And then my distance in the y direction would be b. So this distance would be b. And I'm just drawing it here where b is less than a. That's not necessarily the case. Then I have an ellipse that looks like this. So let's uh, let's sketch a graph something. Oh yeah, I could write it this way too. Um, x minus h over a squared plus y minus k over b squared equals one. Both those forms, you'll be able to, uh, you should be able to recognize both those forms. So let me uh, just clear off the graph entirely here. There we go, that looks good. And I'll just say that I have some equation and that equation will be uh, 
x plus 5, that whole thing squared, over uh, 16, plus y uh, minus 3 squared over 4 equals 1. So let me think about the graph of that. My center is at negative 5, 3. Right? What x value makes this a 0? Negative 5. What y value makes this a 0? 3. And I know I have this offset in the, in the x direction, because that's under x, but it's not 16, it's 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have that, 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are going to be my extremes in the x directions. Um, and this longer thing, well, I'll, let me sketch it first. And then uh, offset of 2, because this is a 2 squared in this direction. So 2, 2. What I like to do is I like just like to draw a rectangular box. Now, this is not part of the graph, but this is the frame. This is the frame for where the ellipse is going to get sketched, like this. And then it kind of makes it easier for me to, to sketch the ellipse if I, if I do that. It also has a good connection to the next thing we're going to do. So that's, that's another reason why I do it. So there it is right there. And if I talk about these points out here, since it was 4 in this direction from, from x, I'm going to add 4 to the x, a negative 1, but still at the height of 3. Subtract 4 from there, negative 9, still at the height of 3. Still at a width of negative 5, but up 2. Still a width of negative 5, but down 2. Yeah, so there's all my, there's all my pieces for, uh, for those ellipses. We have this graph of this ellipse. And as we can see, the center is here at the point 1, negative 3. And then we have this uh, we have this offset in the x direction of five and this offset of two in the x direction. Just so you know, I have uh, I have um, one thing that I want to give you definition wise. This distance here, the longest of them, is called the major axis. Major axis, and half of that would be the major radius. And then this one is called the minor axis, and the shorter the half of it, that is called the minor radius.